In this eighth lesson about deism, we will talk to a deist again, and he will be our addressee. Now we will ask the deist some questions. Where does man come from? Where does he go? Who is he? Why was this realm created? What does the being that is the owner of this realm want from us? Why have we been given so many feelings and devices? How should we be grateful for him in return for the boons he gives us? And how should we make ourselves loved by him? Why are beings embellished with such embroidery? Why are they painted in different colors and given different shapes? Why do the beings for whom so many expenses are made die in a few days or weeks? Is such an expenditure not wasteful? There is a constant renewal in this realm. A being that comes, leaves after a while, and is replaced by a new one. What is the reason for it? Why does the merciful creator of this realm allow misfortunes, diseases, and other disasters? What is after the death? We can ask tens of questions like those. The mind cannot find the answers to those questions. Even if it does, it cannot prove that they are correct. The correct answers can be given to us only by prophets who receive revelation. Now think of this. Will our Creator, who treats us with mercy, allow those questions, disturb us, and keep us busy all the time? If yes, why? Is it difficult for Him to send prophets? Why should He leave us alone with those unanswered questions and keep our minds busy with those questions all the time? No, it is not as you believe. He never leaves us alone with those questions. He does not keep our minds busy with them. He sends His prophets and His books and teaches us the answers to every question that we wonder. His teaching is due to His mercy, justice, and wisdom.